guys, hope you've all been doing great. Due to popular demand on my other social media, I am making a video all about color theory. My goal is to present you all with an overview of how color theory works and how you can apply it to your makeup. I think color theory is something really essential to anyone learning any sort of visual art form which includes makeup, interior design, graphic design, and event decorating. Color theory it can be very intimidating, so I want to just start with the color wheel. We've all seen a color wheel before and it's a very useful tool to know about. You have your primary colors, very basic yellow, red, and blue. And from those colors you can create other colors, but I'm pretty sure we already know about this so I will just skip right ahead to the more important information. When you look at a color wheel, colors opposite from each other are called complementary colors. These are color combinations like blue and orange, purple and yellow, or red and green. I have a few of my Indian outfits with me so that I can show you guys examples of how these colors can look really beautiful together. These color combinations are super bold and super pretty when used in their true forms. Complementary colors can also apply to each color duo's sister tints. Tints are basically what a color is called when white is added. These combinations won't be as bold as normal complementary colors, but they still look really pretty together. Complementary color combinations also really bring out eye colors. If you have green or blue eyes, wearing a bronze or copper eyeshadow will really bring out your eye color. So this outfit is a great example of how red and green can look totally beautiful together without coming off as Christmassy, if you know what I mean. This is a traditional Bharatanatyam outfit that I wore to my Edinburgh gym and I can't even begin to tell you how amazing it looked on stage. The combination of red and green really pops and it looked so bright and colorful and vivid. This outfit combines gold and purple. The complementary color to purple is from the yellow spectrum and gold is a part of yellow. Deep purple colors really contrast against a bright gold and overall this color combination looks very regal. I personally love wearing royal purple and gold together. I feel like it's very elegant and ideal for wedding receptions. The next category of color combinations are analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. Overall, they offer less contrast and complementary colors. Instead, they create a more uniting, cohesive look to an outfit or makeup look. You can draw your inspiration from one color and then find similar colors to function as accent colors. This is not a monochromatic color scheme because a monochromatic color scheme would mean that you're taking different versions of like a same cool toned purple. This outfit right here is an analogous color scheme of red and orange. Pink and this light sherbet color are both tints of their mother colors, red and orange. While a skirt of a bright red and orange might be dramatic to wear, this skirt is a lot softer and more playful and kind of reminds me of candy. The last type of color scheme that I want to talk about in this video are called triads, and it's kind of difficult to explain so just bear with me. Basically, if you draw an equilateral triangle on a color wheel, you'll find yourself looking at a triad. These color schemes are super playful and vibrant to wear, and it's especially fun picking out colors to use for your makeup when wearing a triad color scheme in an outfit. This is the same outfit that I wore in my pink cut crease Indian wedding reception tutorial, something like that I called it. Um, but anyway, I chose to use pink eyeshadow and a pink lipstick in that tutorial because I really wanted to bring out the pink in this outfit and have it contrast with the blue. You can't really see it in the clips that I included in this video, but the entire length of the outfit is that beautiful blue. I could have also used like a true gold color scheme on my eyes or even like that really dark, beautiful, like navy purple color. I could have also used a blue eyeshadow, but personally I like using accent colors that are present in smaller amounts to bring forward the details from my outfit. When you have bright accent colors in a shirt or on your purse, it looks really nice to use your makeup to reflect those colors. So how does color theory translate to makeup itself without any clothes attached to it? Let's take a color correcting concealer palette. This is from NYX and you can see that it contains six different hues. 
To most people looking at this, they would be like, why do you want to put green or lavender concealer on your face? But we know that we can use these colors on top of any discoloration to neutralize that discoloration. Color correcting relies on the principle of complementary colors, or colors directly opposing each other on the color wheel. For example, you can tone down redness from allergies or acne using a green-based concealer. As you can see in the little color wheel in the left-hand corner, red and green are directly opposite from each other and therefore cancel each other out. When you put green on top of red, kind of a brown is created, and then you can go over top with a full coverage concealer the color of your actual skin to essentially eliminate all discoloration. To mute out purple or dark blue circles, you can use salmon colored concealer. Salmon also cancels out ashiness. If a salmon is too pink for your skin, you can also use an orange concealer like in the bottom right pan. Lavender is also a good color for neutralizing any unwanted yellowness or dullness in the skin. Lavender is said to have a brightening effect on the skin. Color correctors can be used also on the entire face in the form of primer. Many companies sell primers in a green, yellow, lavender, or orange tint for the purpose of color correcting and brightening the skin before using foundation. Once you put on a foundation, you won't be able to see any of the color corrector anymore and it'll look totally natural. Now I've prepared a few swatches to show you examples of a color scheme involving a full face of makeup. The first one that I have is a monochromatic brownish pink. I love wearing these pink colors because they look so girly yet sophisticated. Most pink lipsticks wash me out, but a brownish pink doesn't do that. If you'd like to know what the products are that I used, please check out my info box for a link to the list of products and more photos. The next color theme is a copper and orange color scheme. I think these colors look amazing on people with golden undertones because it looks like it's meant to be, but it's still so fresh and wearable. Most people are scared of orange, but I promise if you just find the right shade of orange to go with your undertone, it'll look really, really beautiful. This next color scheme is one that I'm kind of obsessed with. This is a family of cool toned pinks and purples. And I know that these are cool toned because they all share a blue base. A cool toned pink can be really hard to find, but I love how unexpected a cool toned pink looks. It's like an edgy pink. Even though I have warm golden undertones, these colors still look really good on me because they're dark enough to provide enough contrast against my skin. Based on knowledge of complementary colors, since my undertones are golden, this means that purple really stands out whenever I wear it. Our final color scheme is something really unexpected that not a lot of people think to include in their makeup collection. Red and green are complementary colors, and you can see that they are such a striking and bold pair together. That green eyeshadow on the far left is really interesting because when I blend it out, it almost has a red base, which really ties into the red lipsticks that I have on my right side of the hand. This color combination would look stunning on people with darker skin tones. That dark iridescent green and deep rich red looks so, so stunning on people with warm undertones. If you want to learn more about wearable combinations, you should totally give my Instagram a follow because I love experimenting with different color schemes and I'd love to provide with you some color inspiration. There are tons of other color combinations out there and you can read lots about it online. Of course, neutrals like beige and white and black pair seamlessly with any color you pick. There are so many options when combining colors and honestly, there is no wrong way to do it. Most colors are very forgiving and there is a fair amount of wiggle room. My best advice is to trust your first instinct and don't overthink a color scheme. When I pick my makeup looks and outfits, I always go with my first initial gut instinct. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in my next video.